in this particular video we are going to solve the problem number 1.11 from erodo and that is related to kinematics so let us first read out the problem and then we'll we'll solve the problem step by step so there are two particles which are moving in a uniform gravitational field with an acceleration of g so let us say we are having the uniform a uh, gravitational field in this particular direction and the acceleration due to gravity is given as g okay and then at the initial moment the particles were located at one point and moved with velocities v1 is equal to 3 meter per second and v2 is equal to 4 meter per second horizontally in the opposite directions find the distance between the particles at the moment when their velocity vectors become mutually perpendicular so let us say we are having the particle at this particular location let us consider it as 0 comma 0 particle 1 is moving in this direction with velocity of 3 meter per second and particle 2 is moving in this particular direction with velocity of 4 meter per second and this is the acceleration due to gravity of g okay i hope this is clear and then uh, our the general procedure in this case is that we will first find out the velocity after time t after time t and then we will find the time at which both velocities are both velocities are mutually perpendicular mutually perpendicular and then at that particular Uh, time instant will find the location of both the particles location of both the particles and then we will find the distance between those two location of uh, particle 1 and 2 so this is this will be our general procedure to solve the problem okay all right so let us first consider particle 1 particle 1 so particle 1 is moving in this particular direction let us say ux is equal to 3 meter per second and uy is equal to 0 consider this is the coordinate system in this direction we are having x and in this direction y is there and in this particular direction we are having the acceleration due to gravity now in the horizontal direction there is no acceleration so velocity will be constant velocity will be constant so at time t at time t the ux will be vx will be same as the ux that is final velocity is same as the initial velocity that is equal to 3 meter per second now if we talk about the final velocity in the y direction then we can write vy is equal to uy plus acceleration into time we know that initial velocity in the y direction is zero so we can write vy is equal to what is the acceleration g into t so this we can write vy is equal to g into t okay now we know that the velocity is in the opposite direction of the y direction so if we write the velocity at time t in the vector form then we can write velocity of particle 1 is equal to 3i cap minus gt j cap why minus because the velocity is in this particular direction and j cap is in the opposite direction okay so this is the first particle velocity now if we talk about the particle 
particle 2 so particle 2 is moving in this particular direction with velocity of 4 meter per second and we have assumed this particular coordinate system and this is the point of origin okay and then if it is moving in the horizontal direction then acceleration in the horizontal direction is equal to zero and acceleration in the vertical direction we know that is g so again if the acceleration in horizontal direction is equal to zero then velocity in the horizontal direction will be same now u x we can write in this particular case is minus 4 i cap because the velocity is in the opposite direction of the x so again v x we can write u x is equal to minus 4 i cap okay now if we talk about the v y then from the equation of motion for the constant acceleration we know that v y is equal to u y plus acceleration into time and in this particular case u y is equal to zero because in the initially we are only having the velocity in the x direction so from here we can write u y is equal to g into t as it is in the opposite direction of the j cap that's why vectorically we can write velocity of 2 is equal to minus 4 i cap minus g t j cap okay so these are the velocity of 1 and 2 we have found out at the time instant of t now it is saying that what should be the now we have to find the time at which both velocities are both velocities are mutually mutually perpendicular to each other so in that case what we can do for example if we are having two vectors a and b and if both are mutually perpendicular then we considered it as a a vector dot product with b vector is equal to zero so similarly we can do for v1 vector dot v2 vector is equal to zero what is v1 vector that is 3i cap minus 3i cap minus gt j cap dot product with minus 4i cap minus gt j cap is equal to 0 so if we take the dot product then this is minus 12 plus g square t square is equal to 0 and from here we can find t is equal to under root 12 divided by g so this is the time we have found out at which both the velocity are mutually perpendicular now now it is the time to find the location what is the location of location of particle particle 1 and 2 okay now consi again consider particle 1 particle 1 so particle 1 we are moving in this particular direction with velocity of 3 meter per second and in this direction it was having the acceleration due to gravity of g and this location was 0 comma 0 now if we want to find out the distance at which it has moved in this particular direction let us denote it as sx so sx we can write ux into t ut plus half into a into t square this is the equation of motion we know for the constant acceleration in the horizontal direction there is no acceleration so this term will be zero so sx we can write what is ux that is t sorry 3 into what is t t is equal to under root 12 upon g so this we can write 3 into 2 root 3 divided by g so that is 6 root 3 upon g so this is the sx okay so this is the distance moved in the x direction now if we talk about what is the distance it has moved in the y direction then we can write sy is equal to uy into t plus half into a into t square now what is the initial velocity in the y direction that is zero so sy we can write half into g into what is time 
under root 12 upon g so t we can write 12 upon g square so sy we can get 6 upon g okay so this is the distance we got in the x direction and y direction now if we want to find out the coordinate of that particular point so it has actually moved in this particular point and reached at this particular point let us say this point a so a point we can write it as so this is the x direction and this is y direction it has moved in the positive x direction so the x coordinate we can write 6 root 3 upon g and it has moved in the negative y direction so we can write minus 6 upon g so this is the coordinate of particle 1 we have got after time t now if we want to find out the location of particle 2 again we will do the same this is the direction in which the particle is moving with velocity of 3 meter per second and this is the direction in which it is having the acceleration due to gravity of g and then if we want to find out the distance at which it has moved in the uh, x direction then we can write s is equal to uh, ux into t plus half a t square in the x direction there is no acceleration so this term is equal to 0 and sx we can write what is ux3 into what is the time 12 upon g under root so this is 6 root 3 upon g uh, that we have found out here sorry this is 4 meter per second so this is 4 meter per second so we can get 8 root 3 upon g now talking about the distance moved in the y direction so basically we can write ui into t plus half into a into t square initial velocity in the y direction is equal to 0 so we can write half into g into t is equal to under root 12 upon g so 12 upon g square for t square now we can get 6 upon g and again we can see that it has moved in the negative x direction and negative y direction so location of particle 2 we can write minus 8 root 3 upon g comma minus 6 upon g so this is the location we got for particle 2 okay this is the location for particle 1 and this is the location for particle 2 now if we want to find the distance between those two particles then we can write it as what is the x coordinate 6 root 3 by g minus of minus 8 root 3 upon g whole square plus what is y coordinate minus 6 upon g minus of minus 6 upon g whole square under root so if we find this one this is nothing but 14 uh, root 3 upon g whole square and this term will be 0 under root so we will get 14 root 3 upon g so if we find out this particular value 14 into root 3 divided by 9.81 so we will get around 2.47 meter i hope the entire procedure is clear so this is the final distance between those two particles we have got now let us once summarize so basically it was given that the uniform uh, gravitational field and the acceleration due to gravity was given as g uh, the two particles were there at the particular point i have considered it as origin and from that point it was moving in the opposite direction with 3 meter per second and 4 meter per second then we have found out the velocity after time t for both particle 1 and particle 2 and it was asking to find the uh, time for when the, both the velocity are mutually perpendicular so we have considered the dot product and found out the time after finding the time we have found out the location of particle 1 and 2 after finding the location of particle 1 and 2 we have found out the distance between those two particles 
I hope the entire procedure is clear. Thank you.